Hey guys, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm April and I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. Please consider subscribing and liking this video because we're all about skincare on this channel. As you guys can tell from the title, today's video will be a reaction video to AOC skincare routine. So quick disclaimer, I'm not here for the political reasons. You guys know this channel is all about skincare. So regardless of whatever political opinions you have about AOC, I'm just here for the skincare. Oh, quick. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what a congresswoman does for her skincare routine. I'm sure she has the craziest, busiest schedule. Couldn't even imagine. So it'd be really interesting to see how she keeps her skin looking fresh and dewy because she skin goes. So yeah, let's get into the video. Buenos dias. This is Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and I am here to walk you through my skincare routine. Um, I have not gotten much sleep last night at all. People are fighting too much and so I have bags under my eyes. And so I always start with a toner. Um, this is just one that I happen to be using right now. So I just apply some toner and just wet my face. I am fine. Hold up, toner? Where's the cleanser, ma'am? Where's the double cleansing? I'm guessing maybe she already did it off camera because we're already judging. Like, sis, where's the cleanser? Where's the pre-toner part? Let's just assume that she already did all that. Just try to look into the toner that she's using and it looks like it's not listed. I hate that Vogue doesn't list like products that these celebrities use because it just helps me judge the product, but I can't judge it because it's not listed. So, I mean, I'm guessing whatever toner she's using is working for her because that skin is looking good. Following up um, with some vitamin C, I just add a little bit of moisturizer. Okay, vitamin C and moisturizer. So I'm guessing she doesn't have a retinol. She doesn't use a retinol. It's good to know. I mean, she doesn't really have any dark spots or anything. Vitamin C is a great antioxidant, great for protecting her skin from sun damage. And she follows right up with moisturizer. I'm sure whatever moisturizer she's using is also just as good. I really wish I could see the vitamin C though that she's using the exact one just because I need to know if it's L-ascorbic acid, if it's the most potent form of it, so I can tell you guys about it, but I can't. So far, so good. I think her routine is... I get questions all the time on my Instagram stories about skincare routines and makeup and what I do. And the reason why I think it's so important to share these things is that, first of all, femininity has power. And in politics, there is so much criticism and nitpicking about how women and femme people present ourselves. Just being a woman is quite politicized here um, in Washington. There's this really false idea that if you care about makeup or if your interests are in beauty and fashion, that that's somehow frivolous. But I actually think these are some of the most substantive decisions that we make and we make them every morning. Oh wow, that's pretty interesting. I can imagine that she gets judged just because she cares about makeup as a congresswoman. I, I can see the men just like judging her and I, I can't even imagine the criticism that she goes through as a congresswoman because even just you know, everyday life as a woman, sometimes you feel like you shouldn't do as much because you could be judged, not just by males, but maybe even other females. Uh, so it's really good that she's voicing it and saying how important it is to look after your skin because it's it's, it's important not just for women but for men. Skincare is not an only female thing. Men should also care about looking after their skin because I mean your skin is the most physiological organ. You can see it, you can see your kidney and it protects the rest of your organs. If you didn't have good skin or if you don't have a skin at all, all your organs literally oxidize and you die. So it's really important to look after our skin. Uh, I've got SPF. If you are at all a melanated woman, um, it's really hard to find sunscreen because a lot of sunscreens have a white cast. And I think that a lot of women know this. See, look how you have to be really generous with sunscreen. Don't play games. Don't play games with sunscreen. Um, you'd always rather put too much than too little. So don't forget your ears, don't forget your eyelids. Yes, sunscreen, you guys already know. I'm a sunscreen fanatic. I just became one. I don't know where the heck I was five years ago. Ooh, crippling depression, now that I even think about it. But you guys, sunscreen is so important. Melanin or no melanin, sunscreen is super, super important for your skin because it helps protect from the sun, UVA, UVB rays. 
it's real, okay? UVB will burn the shit out of your skin. UVA will age you. 90% of skin aging, 90%, you guys, is from the sun. Really let that sink in. So it's really important to use sunscreen. And damn, she's like putting it on her ears. I always forget my ears when I apply sunscreen. So that's like a really good reminder for me to do that. So yeah, great message here by Congresswoman. Love, love, love that. I travel between DC and New York pretty much every single week. Um, this is kind of one of the most taxing sides of being a, a member of Congress is that Congress, when it's in session, we're in DC about four days a week. And then we have to fly back home to work in our communities three days a week. And that's seven days a week. That's a lot of traveling. It is also a huge toll on your skin. I oftentimes will put on like kind of a clear moisturizing mask when I'm in the train, but the other aspect of it is carrying your products. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here because she just talks about like her makeup routine next, but that's so crazy. She works seven days a week? I'm never gonna complain about having only two days off in a week, okay? That's just crazy, wow. Ooh. She said she wears a mask in the train because probably she is experiencing like really dry skin and like trans epidermal water loss on the train while she's commuting to DC and New York. So wow, I can't even imagine having a schedule like this. Literally mind blown. But yeah, her skincare routine, I have no complaint. Her skin looks really, really good for someone that's like super stressed and is constantly working. Wow, I'm shook. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Definitely check out my other videos, my other reaction videos. I'll link them up here and also in the description box you guys can check it out as well as my other skincare videos thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye